Hello YouTube and welcome back to another alternate history video. Today I got the 1968 presidential election which was held between Richard Nixon, Hubert Humphrey, and a independent challenger in George Wallace who won some southern states as you see there. And uh, this scenario however is Ronald Reagan as the Republican nominee who did run in 68 but didn't get the nomination of course and is still against Hubert Humphrey as a Democrat. But I don't got Wallace in this scenario, so it's just a two-way matchup between Reagan and Humphrey. But uh, some background, 6-8, if you didn't know, uh, a very uh, tumultuous year. Definitely with the assassinations of Martin Luther King Jr., Robert Kennedy, prominent leaders in the Civil Rights and Democratic Party. And uh, there was a lot of unrest in the streets, of course. A lot of protests and riots and uh johnson's popularity was waning because of that and also the unpopular vietnam war definitely uh his approval will go down it was dragging on and no end in sight so in came nixon the former vice president under eisenhower ran as the republican nominee like i said and Hubert humphrey the vice president during the time, ran for the Democratic nomination because Johnson decided not to take the nomination due to his uh, unpopularity. And so, like I said, it wasn't a matchup between those two. And then, as you see there, you had George Wallace. He ran as an independent, mainly against the, on the civil rights issue against it, and also ran as a pop economic populist. So that did earn him some support, at least during the primary, of some Midwestern and Rust Belt states. But in the general election, he only managed to win five southern states. And then uh, gave Nixon some of these uh, western states because taking some vote away from Humphrey. Taking vote from blue-collar workers to help Nixon get these states. And so, like I said, this alternate scenario over is Ronald Reagan as a GOP nominee. If he managed to win the nomination... I still got Humphrey as a Democrat, but I don't have Wallace in this scenario. So getting to it, uh, Edmund Muskie was Humphrey's running mate, so he still is running mate in this scenario. But for Reagan's running mate, I got George Romney, who was the popular, pretty popular governor of Michigan at the time. He was a pro-civil rights governor as a Republican, pretty moderate, uh, more on the Rockefeller Republican wing of the party. Uh, Reagan was more on the hardcore conservative wing Kind of more right wing, definitely, than Romney. So I believe Reagan would have gone with somebody like Romney in this scenario to balance out the ticket to get some support from the Northeast. Due to Reagan being, like I said, more of the, or excuse me, due to Romney being more of the Rockefeller Republican type. So I think it would have been a good balance for the ticket to help unite the base. That's why I have him as Reagan the running man in this scenario. So uh, getting into this, um, I believe Reagan's definitely going to take a lot of these states that he won in our timeline. Mountain West states like Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, a lot of the Mormon Belt, and really conservative on pretty much every issue. And Romney being a Mormon would help garner support in these states. The vice presidential running mate. Uh, I believe Reagan would take Arizona since Nixon won it, as well as all these other states like Colorado, New Mexico. Much of the Great Plains here, the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma, all states that went for Nixon, so I think Romney would, or excuse me, Reagan, would take them too. However, the state of Minnesota here is definitely, I believe, going to go for Humphrey still, being his home state. They went against Nixon, so I believe they have no problem against Reagan either. Uh, the state of Nevada, I believe, went for Nixon. So I think in that case that Reagan would take it too. Doing having good rural support and uh maybe Humphrey could do better in a place like Clark County, but I think due to a lot of rural Nevada would turn up Reagan that it would give the state to him since Nixon won it. And also having his West Coast to Bill being from California. Which in that case I believe California would go for Reagan being his home state. It was also Nixon's home state, so I think it would say right in this scenario. Uh, Humphrey could do pretty well, I think, in the Bay Area of the state, but other than that, I think Reagan would do tremendously well throughout the rest of the state. So a solid win there, probably a likely margin. Uh, the state of Oregon did go for Nixon. 
And I think it would go for Reagan, too, because of that. The uh, state of Washington, however, was a state that went for Humphrey. I think it was pretty close, though. Uh, Reagan was able to win in both of his actual runs in the 80s, which is why I think it would be a close one. Uh, it was a more of a dovish state turning against the Vietnam War, so Humphrey was able to win it running as a dove. But I think with Reagan being on the ticket, he would actually pull it out pretty narrowly, though. Uh, like I said, I think it would be a close one, but I think with Reagan having good West Coast appeal being from California, that it would be enough to win a mistake because I think it would do pretty good around the suburbs. Uh, Humphrey, I think, would win Seattle, a Democratic stronghold, but I think Reagan do, could do great throughout the rest of the state and give him an era of victory. Definitely do great in the rural areas of the state. I think would be enough to handle it. Uh, Alaska would go to Reagan, definitely. Over Humphrey would go to Hawaii. Uh, the state of Texas here would go for Humphrey. But I think it was mostly due to Wallace taking away a lot of it from Nixon in the state. Uh, Humphrey also did well in the southern part with Tejano voters. But I think with Wallace not running in this scenario that Reagan would take it due to doing extremely well in a lot of the rural areas due to running conservatively on economics and Second Amendment social issues. I think Reagan would take it with Wallace not being in this scenario. Uh, the states that Wallace won, I think, would go to Reagan, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia as well. Due to doing really well with uh, white Southern voters, due to the backlash against the Civil Rights Act being passed by Johnson, as these states they go for Goldwater in '64. So, I think they would do the same here with Reagan in '68, since Wallace isn't running in this scenario. I think uh, definitely due to the backlash against the Johnson administration because of civil rights that since Wallace went down the ballot, they would go for Reagan. And also running conservatively, like I said, on economic and social issues. I think Reagan would do well in the state since he did win them in the 80s. Uh, same with Kentucky, Tennessee. I think he would take these as well. More southern states. I don't really see Humphrey picking these off due to the issues I mentioned with these other states. But However, West Virginia, I think, would stick with them. I can say again, closer, but since West Virginia historically was really democratic around this time, being a more uh, unionized, being more unions with the coal mining industry, was more of a democratic stronghold. I think Humphrey could hang on to it. But I could say again, significant, significantly closer. But I think it would pull off about four to five points or so, a few points, somewhere around that range. However, uh, Reagan would take a state like Indiana, very socially conservative and economically too. A lot of the rural areas would turn out for Reagan, so I'll give him that state. Uh, I think uh, he would take Missouri, but I think it would be a close one because Missouri was a bellwether state, but it did go for Nixon in our timeline. So I think uh, Reagan would too, due to the unpopularity of the Johnson administration. He would take it to do it due to doing great in rural areas, but I think it could be a relatively close one because I see Humphrey doing good around like St. Louis and the suburbs in the state, but definitely due to the rural areas, I think would swing towards Reagan, especially with Johnson being unpopular around this time. Uh, the state of Iowa, I think, would be pretty close, but I do go for Nixon in our timeline, so I think it most likely will go for Reagan, too, being a farm state. Uh, ironically, it was in the 80s when the state experienced a farm crisis, and that's why Michael Dukakis was able to win in 88. But uh, with this being 68, I think Reagan would take it due to Humphrey taking more liberal positions on issues, definitely more liberal than somebody like uh, Jimmy Carter in 76, which is why I think uh, Reagan would take it. Uh, the state of New York up here in the Northeast, I do go for Humphrey in our timeline, so I think he would win it here too. Due to doing great in the boroughs in the state, I think Reagan would do great upstate, but other than that, places like New York City, I think we give Humphrey the victory. Uh, 
Vermont and New Hampshire are over, I think, would say with Reagan since Nixon did win it. Whoops. Accidentally clicked Maine there, which was Muskie's home state. He went for Humphrey, but like I said, Vermont and New Hampshire, I believe, would go for Reagan since Nixon did win it. Be more historically conservative, especially Vermont. Really, they only went Democrat for Johnson. Other than that, went Republican up until 92, of course. So I think Reagan would win them here. Doing great with, uh, even doing great with educated voters in the state, especially a state like New Hampshire. I think Reagan would have the right platform. Uh, the state of Massachusetts, however, I think we'll go for Humphrey since it did an over timeline. Very uh, historically culturally liberal, liberal state. On a lot of issues too, economics and uh, social issues as well. I think it would be too keen on voting for Reagan. Now, I believe it narrowed in for him in 84, but of course it was very popular in that year. But with this being 68, I think Humphrey would more than likely take it since he did against Nixon. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think he won Rhode Island and Connecticut, and he did. So in that case, I could say I'm getting a little closer, and due to Reagan also having George Romney on the ticket, I think we make him close. But I think since uh, Humphrey won him an overtime line, that he would pull it off here against Reagan. Due to, like I said, uh, running on economic issues, doing well in the suburban parts of the state. No, I was, they used to be more like swingy states back then, swing states. But I think uh, since Humphrey was able to pull them off, they would against Reagan here. Like I say, I'm getting pretty closer, though. Uh, the state of New Jersey, however, was a Nixon state. So in that case, I think it would be a Reagan state here. Since Nixon was able to win it in a more traditionally Republican state around the time, but kind of like a swing state like these states, Rhode Island, Connecticut. But tend to be more lean Republican back then. So I think Reagan would win it. Uh, I think it would take a state like Illinois. It was actually his birth state. Uh, so I think it would do pretty well, like in the rural areas of the state, and be pretty decent in some of the suburbs. But I believe uh, Humphrey would win Cook County. But I think due to Illinois being. Same more as a Republican state around the time and be at Reagan's birth state. I think he would take it pretty close, though. Closely, I would say. And then does put Reagan over the top. But uh, the rest of the states, I think Maine would stick with Humphrey due to Edmund Muskie being his running mate. It was Muskie's home state. Pretty popular senator from there. So I think uh, Humphrey would hang on to that. A uh, state like Virginia, I believe, would go for Reagan. Definitely doing great in rural areas and the suburbs throughout the state. Doing good around the beaches. Definitely more Republican stronghold around this time. Voting that way from up from at least 1952 up to 2004, besides 1964. So I think Reagan would do pretty well in a state like Virginia, since he did an hour timeline in the 80s. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and give him North Carolina and South Carolina as well. Due to the civil rights issue, like I said, a backlash against Johnson and the Democrats. And uh, South Carolina and North Carolina actually did go for Nixon in our timeline. As you see there, due to that civil rights issue in the rural areas, turning against Johnson and the Democrats. So I think they would go for Reagan in this scenario as well. And the state of Florida as well also went for Nixon. Due to that issue, I think Reagan did definitely do great in the panhandle. Do pretty good in the I-4 corridor. I think Humphrey would probably do good like in southern Florida, but other than that, I think Reagan would have much strength throughout the rest of the state. So that would give him the state since it went for Nixon as well. A uh, state like Wisconsin, Michigan, I think would be pretty close. Wisconsin actually went for Nixon. Michigan, I believe, went for Humphrey. Uh, with Reagan over Romney on the ballot, though, I could say Michigan getting significantly closer. Um, maybe Humphrey could still pull it off because I think it was a pretty solid margin he won about. I believe it was close to 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give Wisconsin to Reagan since Nixon won it. I think it would do really well in like, the Driftless area. and though That tended to be more Democratic, so I think Humphrey would probably just study pretty good there. But 
I think with some of the suburbs like with like Reagan, though I think a place like Milwaukee would definitely go for Humphrey. But uh, I'm actually gonna look real quick. So go to Canada to see if I might retract any of my calls. Uh, let's pull this, try to pull this up here and get typed in. <laughs> I'm a little trouble here. I'm gonna spell that, but whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, like I was saying, um, state of Wisconsin went for Nixon. I'm, I just wanted to look, see which areas each candidate did best in before I make a final call. So, uh, as you see here, Humphrey did good in some northern counties, and like I said, Milwaukee. And Nixon actually did do good in the Driftless area, as I said at first, but I just wanted to make sure. So I think for that reason that Reagan would win it too, since it went for Nixon our timeline due to the Driftless area. Reagan would have the right message on economics and optimism that would help him in these Rust Belt states due to Johnson's unpopularity. Uh, the state of Michigan, like I said, ever went for Hubert Humphrey. Uh, I think Wallace also took a pretty significant amount of vote in that state because I believe, uh, I know in 1972, uh, Wallace actually won the primary in the state. And I believe he took a significant amount in 1968. I see there he won 10% of the vote. Uh, Humphrey still did pretty well, though, got a plurality of the vote due to doing good in upstate, as you see there, the Upper Peninsula. And I think... Uh, It did run up the margins there, as you see, in Wayne County, where Detroit is. Doing so good in suburban counties. Doing good with the black vote. Uh, with the BM Reagan, though, and having Romney as his running mate, like I said, I think it would be a close one. If I had to go with my gut instinct, I think Reagan pull out a narrow one here. Just having a better, like, real appeal. And also, like I said, having Romney on take, I think it would improve in the suburban counties that Humphrey won like Macomb, and I think it'd be enough for Reagan to pull a narrow one. Like I said, I think it's a tough one. Maybe Humphrey could still pull it out narrowly. But uh, if I had to go with my gut instinct, I think Reagan would narrowly pull it out. If it didn't have George Romney on the ballot, I probably would still give it to Humphrey. But I think due to that factor, and like I said, Reagan had a better rule appeal in the state, I think uh, would be enough to get it in a close one. That's definitely a tough one there. But uh, let's try to move on here. So, uh, again, to the state of Ohio, went for Nixon. Due to perform well in rural areas. And uh, Humphrey having good appeal, as I expected in the eastern part. But uh, I think we're going to definitely run up in the rural areas. And I see Wallace got a pretty significant amount of vote there, too. Due to doing pretty good with blue collar workers. But I think uh, Reagan would take a due to run up in rural areas. And, but I think Humphrey would still have strengths in the western part too. But I say this going to Reagan still. Uh, state of Pennsylvania, they go for Humphrey. Doing good in the western part, I believe. Which was more of a Democratic stronghold for years. So, yeah, as you see there, they go in the western part. Uh, Nixon actually did good in the suburban parts of the state pretty impressively there. Uh, I think with Wallace being off the ballot, though, that due to good suburban support for Republicans, I think uh, Reagan could pull it off. Uh, I think it would still be a close one, but due to Wallace not running and not taking away any vote, I think Reagan could actually pull it off since it was only determined by a few points. Due to, like I said, doing good in suburban parts of the state and central part. But I think Humphrey would still do pretty well in the western part. So I could say Reagan pulling off by a couple points or so. I think it would be pretty close there, though. But anyway, our last three remaining states are Delaware, Maryland, and got D.C. here, which definitely good for Humphrey. But uh, the two remaining states of Delaware and Maryland...
So, uh, State of Delaware went for Nixon. Uh, Wallace got a significant amount of the vote. I think it would go for Reagan since Nixon won it. Uh, the state of Maryland, I believe, was a Humphrey state. But let's check to see how they did. So it was a few points there. Uh, Nixon did well throughout the state, but places like Baltimore gave Humphrey the victory due to doing good with the black vote due to the civil rights issue being in support of it. So I think for that reason that Humphrey could pull out a close one there due to the civil rights issue, like I said, doing good with African-American voters. I think it would pull it out. But uh, here's the final map. Reagan wins in a pretty big uh, victory here, 431 electoral votes. So Humphrey is uh, 107. So Humphrey still holds on to a lot of the states that he won in our timeline, but he also loses some like Michigan and Texas and Pennsylvania. But I think that's due to Wallace not running in this scenario. I think he would definitely lose Texas in that case. But I could also see Reagan pulling out Michigan PA. Like I said, maybe Michigan could still go to Humphrey. I think having a better rule appeal for Reagan, having Romney on the ticket, I think would be a narrow victory there for Reagan. And I think it would pull out Pennsylvania since Wallace wouldn't be on the ballot, taking away a vote from blue-collar blue workers. And also due to the unpopularity of the Johnson administration, I think it would be good for Reagan having a message of optimism. And I think it would probably kind of run like a law and order campaign like Nixon did due to unrest in the streets, protests and stuff over the issues of police misconduct and civil rights issues. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, Reagan pulls out a pretty big victory there, as they did in the 80s, one in landslides. But uh, anyway, just comment below what you think of this. Uh, if you think Humphrey would still win any states that he won in our timeline, or if you think this would be about what would happen, like I said, just comment below what you think. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't. And I'll see you next time.